the next generation will know them, even the children, yet not so the next generation would know them, even the children yet to be born, and they in turn would tell their children. Psalm 78, 6. The Psalms are, well, songs in the Bible. Yeah, so those people who think songs and music are evil. Then why is there an entire book, the biggest book in the Bible, a book of songs? And don't say they're not songs. They're obviously songs. These aren't meant to be sung. Or poetry or things like that. Things what are probably the entire evil. And also this is where the majority of flat earthers get their ideas from. You know, songs. You do know there is a place in the Bible where it says people who have faith in God will not be moved. So by the logic that the earth will not be moved in other place in the Bible, I can't remember, uh, then that means if you believe in God, you're stuck right where you are, and you can't move anywhere. Yeah, I know, amazing, right? And who am I kidding? I've never done be able to convince either of them of their wrongness. Neither are you, just being nice and kind and Pleasantly explain to them that they're wrong, right? Don't just blow up in their face. That's not going to help. Even though you want to, it's not going to help. And where in the Bible does it say, Oh, if you believe the earth is round, you're obviously... Satan's spawn, imploring in hell. Oh wait, it doesn't. Why would the death? Yes, Satan's ultimate goal, having, showing off more stuff, making up stuff that we can arm, that we can contribute to God and say, and say how beautiful and wonderful this is. Things he made is, yeah, g great plan. <laughs> like, yes, the goal of Satan, to show all these galaxies and stuff. So when Christians come along, they can say, oh, look how beautiful God made the galaxies and the stars and all of this other stuff. telling generation after generation about well, God and other things. Yeah, tell the next generation <coughs> about the thing. Go read the rest of the song poem thing. And 